Hi everyone! Some days ago I received a request on how to take uh, indoor pictures with strong highlights from the windows and how to manage the fusion uh, between the various exposure. So I decided to use this room to make this little tutorial on how to manage a situation like uh, the one described. First of all we need to uh, decide where to put the camera on the room. If the room was empty, the decision is quite easy. You can put the camera in the center of the room and take the picture without caring too much about uh, nearly everything. But if the room has uh, furniture or objects, the situation can be a little bit tricky. In this particular case, we need to take uh, uh, care of the carpet since uh, if we place the camera on the carpet, the nadir will be very hard to fix since it is a complex uh, texture. If we put the camera in the center where the hanging lamp is, the hanging lamp will look like uh, an umbrella over our head when moving around with the 360 picture. Also, on the right side of, the, the, of this room, we have a very strong highlight coming from the outside with the sun casting the light. So you can understand we cannot put or I cannot put the camera in this, uh, in this place since the camera will cast a very long shadow over the carpet and uh, over the uh, wood floor. So the only place uh, I choose, and I thought it was perfect, was just between the piano and the uh, strong highlight coming from the outside. So the final position is exactly there. You can see a little bit the clone tool from Photoshop down there. Now, looking at the, the overall uh, light situation of the room, we already see that we have a very strong highlight coming from the window, this window particularly, and we need to manage also the um, highlights on the drapes in the room. So this one and the other two on the right side. But we need to take care also the darkest uh, uh, side of the room that is just on the opposite, so is uh, down there near the black couch and over there near the pot and the other books over there. So now that we have looked look around our room and understand how the lights will cast, we can make our decision on the exposure. So now we are ready to turn on our camera, start our application and take the first exposure. Once done, we need to check our settings uh, like uh, the ISO that must, must be fixed at a 50 ISO. Contrast is OK on auto and um, leave zero EV right now. And also we must leave the shutter time to uh, automatic. Once done, we need to check uh, uh, which time the camera used. So we need to uh, go to the camera gallery on the MedAventure application and download our picture. Once the picture is downloaded, we just need to open it, uh, tapping it over, have a quick look uh, of the exposure and then pressing more content info and look at the shutter speed that the camera automatically uses. So this is the, the result of the automatic exposure. The camera chose a time of one hundredth, nearly one, one hundredth of a second to do a balanced exposure between the highlights and the shadow of the picture. By the way, we have some uh, issue to address to have a good result. The first one we can see are the shadows up there and here on the black couch. 
This is a, just a tiny bit underexposed. So normally we, this uh, can be easily recoverable on uh, uh, editing software, but uh, this will increase uh, the noise level and also uh, we can arise an issue on the blacks of the black cow couch and sorry the blacks on the piano down there. If we um, increase or push a little bit the shadows, both will be will became both will became gray and no more black. Also we can see the highlights from the lamp and the hanging lamp over there are uh, burnt and the, those are not uh, recoverable from the picture from especially from a JPEG file. Even worse is the situation on the highlights from the outdoor from the sun. The window is overexposed too much and also the wood floor and the drapes also are a little bit overexposed on both sides here. This one is good because it doesn't, it doesn't have a direct sunlight. So one thing we need to choose is a to manage all the three issues we have on this picture. Recover the shadow and recover the highlights from the artificial light and from the sunlight, from the outdoor uh, light. The first thing we try to do is to do a um, hover-exposure picture to recover a little bit the, uh, the shadows. So I will use a slower time of one 60th that is a nearly plus one EV uh, compared to the original picture. This is the result from the uh, exposure time of one sixtieth of second and you can easily see the difference between the automatic exposure from the camera and the exposure time of one sixtieth or nearly plus one EV compared to the original picture. The shadows over there are a little bit better and also we have a little bit better exposure on the couch and the piano is still black without having any gray color. By the way, doing a plus one EV um, exposure, we burned the highlights even more as you can easily see on the lamp, on the hanging lamp, and not talking about the external, uh, this, sorry, not talking about the sunlight coming from the window and also on the drapes here. These are totally unrecoverable from a JPEG file and also from a DNG file. By the way, it's not our problem. Since this will be our base exposure to do the other two to record the highlights. I suggest you also to take four shots at each exposure so you can do a little bit of stacking and reduce the overall noise on the picture like you can like on the white surface or on the door, dark uh, brown door down there. So now we need to take care of the highlights of the artificial light. Okay, this is the first shot that can take care of the highlights, especially of the artificial lights inside the room. I choose a time of uh, 1 500 of second that compared to the original shot from the camera is a minus 2 EV and from the plus 1 EV is a around minus 3 EV of difference between the two shots. This is a still a good difference and I suggest you to take no more of 3 EV of difference between two shots if you need to merge, especially 
if you have uh, plain colors like uh, walls uh, or furniture. We can also have a look at the other highlights coming from the sun. And we can still see that the drapes are burned. And also the, the drapes here. And also the sky is completely white. This means that it is unrecoverable from the JPEG file. And also from the NG can be recoverable, but uh, we are at the limit, in my opinion. You can see the tiles over there are not recoverable. And the wood floor is quite good. I think this one can be easily uh, managed uh, or recovered from uh, a, even a JPEG file without any problem doing the proper uh, editing. And the drapes on this side are okay. I don't see any um, burnt white or highlight down there. So this is already a good exposure for the overall highlights but not for the extreme highlights of the picture. So we need to take another picture in my opinion and uh, use a higher exposure time too. And this is my final exposure or the darkest one and as you can see the uh, indoor is nearly uh, not visible, is all black because I use a um, time of one two thousandth of second. So now we have uh, uh, a minus five EV from my lightest uh, shot and uh, we are at uh, minus four EV from the original shot from the camera, the automatic exposure. But let's see the outdoor light, how it is right now. Here we go. So now we have a perfect sky. The tiles are visible. The drapes are completely, completely visible. No highlights burned. And also the wood floor is nearly perfect. If we want to be very picky, probably this picture is just a little bit under exposure. So maybe I probably had to choose a slower time, but after some tweaking, I prefer an underexposure picture that can be easily recovered even in a JPEG. Not talking about DNG, in DNG this picture is completely recoverable on the highlights. Uh, I think probably the uh, is about uh, minus 0.5 EV underexposed. So not a big deal to recover um, the, correct, uh, the correct exposure down uh, over there. And the drapes you know, on this side are too dark. But this shot uh, is not for about the overall environment. This shot is uh, specific for the outdoor sunlight. For is a an exposure for to recover the highest uh, highlights we had on this kind of situation. At the end, you can now understand why the automatic exposure bracketing sometimes is not worth uh, to be used on this kind of situation since we have some fixed range like uh, minus two, zero and 0.2 or plus two, sorry, or, or uh, minus three, zero, plus three. And uh, you can understand that we have uh, the plus shot that are completely unuseful for uh, this kind of picture. So the best that you can do is uh, to do manual bracketing I have the free exposure like the one we are looking here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the part one of the, this tutorial. The next one, I hope to release it very soon. And please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.